Alright, so first of all, it is the responsibility of you wearing the fabric and the one who is selling the fabric to you to be able to like educate you on what you want to wear. Like what um, the guy was saying at the Blisco store. And sometimes he advises people on which one to buy. Of course, that is how it's supposed to be. But if someone come with a particular design and say, okay, this is what I want. I like the colors, I like the design. Someone was wearing it and I want this, do you have it? Yes, of course, he's gonna sell it and make his money. So that, at that time, it, is, it becomes a responsibility of who is wearing it. If you are going to wear it for an occasion, you have to try and know the meaning of the fabric that you are wearing. You just don't wear it because your friend is wearing it or you like the colors or you like the design. Uh -huh. So if some, in some uh, like uh, instances the queen or a prominent figure in the society named the fabric, like he was citing one example when the queen named like the Obama um, is Obama, Obama bag, Obama bag, and Oba Michelle Obama <laughs> bag. You know, so in situations like that, it's just the name. That is what also brings about the abuse in this. That it's been so commercialized. It's been so commercialized uh, that the aesthetics were like the original way of naming this fabric. If it were to be from the Queen, she would name it out of maybe an incident that happened and say, "Oh, young friend, to to my friend." Uh, yeah, or uh, yeah, maybe like you know something that would talk about unity, something which would you know based on an incident that happened, they can use like that to also name the fabric. But it is a responsibility. Yes. Okay.